After the last video, we have discussed about the component of the food. So now we are coming on the next lesson that is the fiber to fabric. Fiber to fabric. Manje dhaga pasun kapade parendra. That means we are going to discuss in this video about what are the various processes are doing to making clothes from the yarn. What are the different different stages are there? Pinning is there, weaving is there, dyeing and coloring is there, printing is there, designing. So that all we are going to discuss in this video. What are the different types of the processes? Which are the points we are going to discuss? Variety of the fabrics. Generally, in our routine life, we are using so many different types of the clothes. We are using it is uh, for different different purpose. So uh, it having so much varieties. So that we are going to discuss in this video. Next, fiber. How the fiber is made. What is mean by fiber? How it is uh, obtained from the natural resources, otherwise by the chemical. Then some plant fibers, which are those cotton and jute. Some of the pl uh, plants are there from which we are obtaining the fibers. Which are those plants? Cotton and jute. Some of the animals are there. From that also we are getting the fibers. The next spinning cotton yarn. What are the different, different stages of spinning cotton yarn? What are the machines we are using? What is the handloom and power loom? That all we are going to discuss in this uh, point. Yarn fabric, how it is obtained, and weaving and knitting. How the uh, weaving and knitting will be done. And what is the origin of our clothes from history? So that all we are going to discuss in that lesson. So let us start our lesson. That fiber to, fiber to fabric. In this module, you will learn how fabric is made. We wear different types of dresses. Each of our dresses is made of some fabric. Cotton, silk, jute, wool, nylon and polyester are some common fabrics but what is fabric made of fabric is made of fine threads called yarns you can easily pull out a yarn from fabric moreover if you untwist a yarn to loosen it you will find that it consists of a number of thin hair like strands these strands are called fibers thus fabric is made of many yarns and a yarn is made of many fibers but how are fibers obtained and how are they converted to fabric let us find out once fibers are obtained from their source they are converted to yarns for this fibers are drawn out and twisted together to get the thicker and stronger thread that is yarn the process of making yarns from fibers is called spinning spinning can be done by hand or by using a spindle or a charkha. For large scale production of yarns, spinning machines are used. Weaving is done on looms. Some looms are hand operated and are called hand looms, whereas some are power operated and are called power looms. During weaving, initially one set of yarn is fitted on a loom.
The other set of yarn is then interlaced at right angles with the first set of yarn so as to get fabric. Let us now learn about knitting. In this module you have learned fabric is made of many yarns and a yarn is made of many fibers. Fibers obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers whereas those synthesized using chemicals are called synthetic fibers. Fibers are converted to yarns by spinning. Yarns are converted to fabric by weaving and knitting. Weaving is the process of interlacing two sets of yarns to get fabric. Knitting is the interlooping of one or more set of yarns to get fabric. If we are coming to the school, that time we are wearing that school uniform. If we are going into the hospital, then doctor wearing that apron. If you are coming to cross road, that time that police officer wearing that is a uniform. If you are coming in the school, then there are doors having different different type of the curtains. Some of the peoples they are using different different type of the clothes. So if you are observing it carefully, then there is so much variety of the clothes we are obtaining from our surrounding. If you going to meet to the tailor shop, then you are collecting so many different different pieces of their clothes. Will you uh, know about what is your type, how it is getting? What you do? Collect that all pieces of the clothes and try to remove its one 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 fiber. If possible then remove otherwise uh, you have to insert that needle into that and lose that it's a trace after losing thread you observe that it carefully how they are binding with each other then we know about that what are its type of clothes so that thinner strands are there we are calling them uh, fibers so by the fibers we are making the different type of the clothes generally that clothes are made from uh, natural fiber and chemical fibers that chemical fibers are called as synthetic fibers and which are obtained from natural things those are called as a natural fibers natural fibers for example that cotton and jute these both are obtaining from the cotton plant and jute plant so because of that these are the natural fibers like that we are getting that silk and wool silk is getting from silk wool and uh, that uh, wool wool is getting from the sheep these all are the natural fibers and synthetic fibers synthetic fibers those all are obtained by chemical processes into the industry. These are also called as the uh, man-made fibers. These are all the man-made fibers. Woods that synthetic fibers are called as the man-made fibers. Which are all these examples? Nylon, rayon, terrain. Terracotta. That like are obtained from the industrial processes. So this is called as a synthetic fiber. So about the next part of the right of the fabrics, we are going to discuss in the uh, in detail into the next video. Up to that, stay tuned, stay home, stay safe. Thank you very much.